Welcome back to the shop. The weather is finally breaking and riding season is fully here. For those of you that don't have a riding season, I congratulate you and you may want to skip this video, but for the rest of us, we have work to do to get ready for the riding season. So let's get started. As the weather breaks, we're all anxious to jump on the bike and get out to enjoy that nice weather, but before you do, there are some things that you should make sure that you take care of. Probably the first and most important is your tires. Make sure you're checking the tire pressures, both front and rear, and while you're at it, make sure you're checking the tread wear. Oftentimes, we'll finish the season and we don't order new tires at the end of the season because it's not fresh in our mind. We've got all winter to deal with it. However, usually most of us wait until the last minute, and this video, in fact, is probably a little bit late even because when you get ready to order tires, inventories are bound to be low. So make sure you jump on that as quickly as possible. It will take some time to go to the vendors and get those tires. Make sure you're looking for any cracks or signs of leakage in the tires beyond just the normal few pounds that you might lose from the bike sitting. Next up is going to be your routine maintenance. If you haven't already done it over the winter months or right before the winter season, even if your oil is fresh, I highly recommend doing an oil change. Oil does break down even as it sits, so it's a good idea to go ahead and change out the oil and the filter before you get ready to ride. Also be sure to check your air filter. That's another item that oftentimes at the end of the season we neglect to look at. With those things out of the way, the bike should be almost ready to go with one exception, your battery. Even if you leave your battery on a tender all winter long, it does tend to lose some of its capacity given the cold weather. So be sure to run a quick battery test so that you don't get stranded and not able to restart the bike on your very first ride. That's a quick and easy test to do, so make sure you check that out. And if it's good, then keep it for another season. If it's not, go ahead and replace it now before it does leave you in that uncomfortable position of being stranded. If you have a carbureted bike, you want to make sure that you check the throttle response. If it's lagging at all or if the power is a bit abrupt as you're applying the throttle, then I would highly recommend going ahead and pulling the carburetor and cleaning it out. Usually this is mitigated by putting in fuel stabilizer, but even if you put the fuel stabilizer in, just depending on how frequently you started the bike over the winter months, it may still be good to go ahead and do a clean on that. With the carburetor out of the way, you're good to go. If you have fuel injection, obviously that just makes life easier, but even then fuel injectors can get clogged. Newer bikes, I wouldn't worry so much about this at each and every season, but make sure you're following the service intervals on your motorcycle to keep those fresh and ready to go. The next thing in relation to fuel is make sure that you try to get out and run as much of that old gas through put some fresh gas in, try to run those tanks a few times through. That'll really help to clean the entire system out. Make sure that everything's nice and smooth. You get crisp throttle response when you apply it and you'll be ready to go. Also make sure that the fuel that you're putting in does not contain a high level of ethanol. That's not good for the bikes. So try to get some high quality 93 octane if you have access to it. And again, low ethanol content. Another key maintenance item that often gets overlooked is brakes. The last thing you want to do, especially early in the season, is go to apply the brakes in an emergency situation and find out that those pads were worn out from last year. So again, just give them a quick visual once over, both front and rear. If the pads are in good shape, you're all set to go. If not, replace them accordingly. That leads into our next topic, which is mentally preparing for the riding season. And I think this is probably one of the most critical aspects and one that most of us overlook. We've been off the motorcycle for a couple months, but then in addition to that, the drivers are not used to seeing us because we haven't been around for a couple of months. So they're not ever good about keeping an eye out for motorcyclists, but it's especially bad at the beginning of the season. So just take your time, ease into the riding season. Don't jump on the bike and go flat out right away. Give yourself that opportunity to become spatially aware, keep an eye on the cars around you, giving extra room so that they get accustomed to seeing us back on the road, and hopefully you'll stay safe at the beginning of the season, and that will lead to a long middle and end of the season for all of us. In addition to that, keep in mind that your balance, your riding controls, all those things, it's muscle memory and our muscles have had an opportunity to lose that memory. So take time to 
ride sitting down, standing up, weighting the pegs, get yourself back into that muscle memory of controlling the motorcycle in all aspects. I think it's very easy for us, especially if we're seasoned riders, to think that these are fundamentals and we don't need to practice them or hone those skills. But especially at the beginning of the season, I think this is a very important aspect and one to keep in mind. With those things out of the way, another item that most people might forget as the season gets started is your gear. So at the end of the season, our gear can start to get worn and it's important again to check it out because we just forget how bad or how good it was at the end of the previous season. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a close look at all of the seams, make sure that they're not starting to spread apart. And if it needs to be, make sure you replace that gear because you do not wanna be in a situation where you need the abrasion protection and the seams are already loosened up and they open up completely. If that happens, obviously the gear is going to be relatively worthless. So make sure you check that out. Also check your zippers, make sure they're staying intact. Just give it a good once over and again, replace items if they do need to be replaced. I know this is difficult because it's an expense, but it's definitely worth it because that gear not only protects us from the elements of the weather, but it also protects us in the situations that we need it to offer the abrasion or impact resistance. After all, that's why we buy this gear. So you owe it to yourself to give it a good once over. Your helmet, the same thing. Just make sure you look it over really well, look inside, make sure that none of the foam is breaking down. Helmets do have an age life to them, and if that time has come and this is the season, make sure you go and you get a new helmet. Nothing is more important on a motorcycle than the helmet that you wear. With all of that out of the way, you're gonna also wanna check your gloves, similar things, look for holes, look for wear in the palms, look for spreading seams. These are all things that they just break down and gloves are one of the cheapest protection items that we have. If you were in a situation of a fall, we usually instinctively put our hands out. So those gloves are gonna take a lot of the abrasion. So just make sure they are in good shape and ready for the season. With all of that out of the way, you should be mostly ready to go. You will also want to make sure that you check your chain tension and make sure that you lube your chain. If you have shaft drive, obviously you can forego this, but you should still check out the joints and the oil levels uh, if you have shaft drive. So with all those things out of the way, you're ready for a really good season and an enjoyable one. And I think if you take these few quick steps, it'll lead to a much more interesting and exciting season and hopefully keep you safe throughout those early months. This was just gonna be a quick video. Hopefully everybody is getting ready for the riding season. If you haven't already got your bike out there, go through these steps, get out on the road, have some fun, and be sure to check back because we've got a lot of rides coming up. We've also got some car reviews coming up. If you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified whenever we post new videos. And as always, until next time, take care and ride safe.